back to working on the polo today and I'm going to be finishing off the fuel system hopefully so I've got the fuel cooler and I think I'm going to try and mount it here just behind the top grill I need to shorten these two lines and then I've also got um, a little fuel inline fuel filter it's only a tiny thing but it's got like a changeable cartridge inside it and it should do the job I don't think it needs anything substantial so that should be alright for the fuel filter and then as you can see the fuel lines go under here and then they come through there, elbow and go up there behind the grill uh, and then they come out here so I'm going to need to shorten both of those lines so that they can go into and out of the fuel cooler and then they'll be coming round here straight into the fuel rail and I think I'm going to try and put the filter in this one here or maybe put it after the elbow, between the elbows and the fuel cooler. Uh, I've also got these two barbed fittings for underneath the car where it connects. Um, I was going to get the proper AN fittings but they're just ridiculously expensive and this works just the same. So I'm going to use these with some hose clamps just to connect the lines from the ones that run to the front of the car and the ones that run to the tank. So that's probably going to be the, the first step and then I'll be taking these pipes off and shortening them. So we're under the car now. These are the lines that come from the tank and these are the lines that come from the front of the car. So I'm going to be cutting them just in line with that stud there and then I'll be connecting them with this and put a hose clamp on either side. Nice simple job. Uh, I will need to figure out which is which, which is the feed and which is the return on the other end so then I can plumb it in the right way around. So I'm going to start off by using some electrical tape to wrap around where I want to make the cut and then when I do cut it with the angle grinder it just makes it nice and neat as you can see with that one there's no frayed ends or anything so I'll start off with wrapping all four lines I think I might stagger it so I'm going to cut one there and I'll leave that one where it is and then it just offsets the hose clamps a little bit to stop them being as bulky. Right, so now I've got those lines wrapped up. I'm going to leave that one because that one doesn't need cutting but I'm going to cut that one in the middle and then cut those two as well and hopefully it should stagger the Horse clamps to where they don't touch. So they cut off quite nicely, and now I can put the joiners and the two horse clamps on each one. I may end up having to turn those hose clamps around or maybe put them on the other way around so the screws are on the outside and then these screws can be on the inside because I think those two are going to hit and then another thing is I don't really want it tapping I'll sort that out after I've done this one I'm going to turn these two around so that the screws are on this side and then this one shouldn't hit it.
yes, they're all tightened up. I haven't staggered it enough by the look of it because these two clamps would have hit if they were if they were all facing into the middle. Um, it might tap, but we'll find out on the first test drive. I'm not too worried about it. Could do with another um, bracket there, I think, to hold them tight up to the body. But we'll see later down the line if it needs it. So now that's done. Hopefully it doesn't leak because those fittings work perfect, but that will be found out once we actually put some fuel in it and pressurise the system. There's no high pressure going through this, so hopefully it won't blast out. Now we can go and do the fuel cooler at the front of the car. Right, so now the underneath sorted, I'm going to be mounting the fuel cooler, but I think I need to trim some of this out. I was thinking of putting it down here, but the towing eye is in the way and there isn't really, really anywhere big enough to fit it unless I was to cut like a big hole out of there which I'm not going to be doing uh, I might be taking the number plate recess out to make more airflow for the intercooler um, but yeah I want it here behind the grill and you can see how narrow it gets up here so I might have to notch this a little bit but I don't really want to be cutting into the grill so I think the best plan of action is to cut up here and then all the way across the top and then it'll be coming down the middle of here. So then I've still got one of the main supports in. This one's going to have to come out because it's in the way. So I think if I go straight down the middle of there, up and across through these slats here, and then bring it down in line with this edge here, it should be fitting almost perfect. Might have to do a little bit of work around here. Just notch that a little bit so the pipes will go through. It shouldn't be too bad and then once the pipes come through here they'll be going in through the cooler and out into the fuel rail the return i'm not sure whether to run it the same direction to keep it nice and neat so then i've got two pipes coming down here and then run the return back through there or whether i just pull it up like that and put it straight on and make sure it clears the belt it'll have to be angled or something like that I think that just doesn't look as tidy, so I'll probably try and keep both pipes together. Doesn't mean using a bit more pipe and making it a little bit tighter for the fitting through there, but I'm going to get to trimming this out. There isn't a decent camera angle, so I'll just trim it off camera and then see how it fits. Alright, so I've finally got it somewhat mounted. So I've had to trim half of that out and then trim one of the fins, if you like off the front of that and then up there I left the little slats in and it's worked quite nicely to support the back of it I like to bend this top uh, outlet just so it lines up better with the hose and hopefully that shouldn't be a nice smooth transition this one obviously comes straight in from down there so it doesn't need bending and then I think I'm going to have to make some sort of mount on this end and then that side should be wedged in, but I might end up making them out for that as well. This is the leftover from underneath the car. So if I pull the pipes through, you can see how much needs taken off. And it's cutting back to about here. And then there's enough room for it to go on. And then this is the return line, which will also need cutting down. But I'm going to run it through those slots up there and straight onto the fuel rail. And then the pipe that comes out of the cooler will go up the side of it. I'll probably put it through a different slot so they don't rub together and possibly cause a nuisance. But once it's all the way up there, you can see how much overhang it's got going around the front of the bumper. So it needs chopping down quite a bit. So that's going to be the next step. I'm going to get all this tidied up and then I'll be shortening the lines for there and there. Right, so I've got it fixed in place now. This is probably going to be one of those temporary permanent fixes. Just a cable tie around the end of the fuel cooler. Hopefully that'll suffice. And then I might have to put something up there. But it seems pretty, you know, pretty sturdy. It's not moving anywhere, it's wedged in. And also cable tied in place. Uh, I just need to cut the end of the cable tie off. And then I can cut this pipe down, fit that on. And then all that's left then is to route the return the return line and the feed up to the fuel rail up there so not too much left now and 
another reason I wanted it where it is now is obviously there's no room down there. The intercooler's going in front of the radiator down there, so I can't put it in front of the radiator at the bottom. This side might have an oil cooler there, but I could also probably put it there, but I think it's a bit too busy down there with the horns and the power steering and everything. There's also going to be a boost pipe coming through here on both sides, so it's going to be a little bit too cramped for an oil cooler. So yeah, I think the other oil cooler is going to be going there, fuel cooler there, radiator at the back of it all, and then fans on the back of that, so I can't even put stuff behind, because uh, there's not really, I mean it looks like there's loads of room there now, but once I've got the radiator in and the fans, there's not going to be much room left. Uh, it's all mounted now, it's, uh, might be a bit hard to see on camera actually, but you can see it's fastened in there. Got both pipes on. That's the that's the feed there, and then that's the outlet up there. This is the return coming from the fuel rail. And if I look back here, you see both pipes coming through that slotted bit, and then up there into the fuel rail. Plenty of clearance on the alternator and the belt, and then I think that little fuel filter there. I'm probably going to try and put that in the feed line down here. And then it's still accessible and it's out of the way. But that's going to be another one that's hard to film. So I'll probably just do that off camera. And hopefully it works well. If it's too much of a blockage then I'll have to remove it and just replace it with a, a bit of pipe. I'll just leave it empty with no filter inside it. So, I mean, some of you guys might know better than me. But you'll have to leave it in the comments. Is that filter going to work for it? Um, obviously it's got a, a like a sock on the end of the fuel tank pump which is also a bit of a filter so it's still gonna have two filters like it did from factory and then obviously the fuel cooler has been moved to the front now instead of being underneath so if there's anything that you think is worth mentioning that I haven't thought about leave it in the comments just to let me know and then I can adjust it or change it whatever you think is best um, I've made sure that these are the right way around now. The feed and return, I uh, went underneath and found out which was the feed and then I marked it down there with some blue tape on one and white tape on the other. And then it comes round up there into the cooler. The other one bypasses it because that's the return. So I'm only cooling the feed. So in there through the cooler and out. Uh, like I say, if there's anything else that you think I've missed or should change, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.